What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and I'm here to talk about why do people take versus debating seriously? And I'm not complaining at the people who take versus debating seriously, because I take it seriously as well. <laughs> I have a show about it. Uh, so, one thing is maybe it's nostalgic, because if you are a kid, and you grew up with anime or something like Dragon Ball Z, and you or the original Dragon Ball, or whatever it is you watched, like, you see Goku, you see Piccolo, you see them do all sorts of different crazy things. Then you go, what if Goku and Piccolo got in a fight? What would happen? And then, based on what you've seen, you decide who would win. Like, oh, Piccolo has this special beam cannon, but Goku has the Kamehameha. Which one's stronger? Well, the special beam cannon did this, and the Kamehameha only does that. So it is, it is kind of tricky to tell who would win. You have to go more in depth to it. And some people think it's a, it's a lot of fun. Or maybe you... Maybe you're a sports fan. Maybe you never really got into cartoons or anime or anything, and you're a sports fan. Your team is going up against another team, but your team has this quarterback, that... whatever. I don't watch sports, I don't know all the positions. That guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, who all have this many points, who've gotten this many points or scores or whatever. And the other team has gotten twice that many. No matter how much you want to cheer for your team, you know the other team's gonna win because they have better statistics, better records, better people on their team. You know. So it's it's kind of like that. Like trying to figure out which team would win based on who, which players they have, what their players have done, yada yada. It's fun. It's just fun. And obviously you get mad or angry or super disappointed when your team loses, right? If you grew up watching WWE, Friday Night Smackdown, or Monday Night Raw or whatever... And you obviously know that, because, oh, this wrestler, he he has this move, and the Undertaker can beat everyone. Oh, the Undertaker is like the Goku of WWE. He can never lose. Arrgh, it's, it's, something's wrong. Arrgh. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of the gist of it. It's kind of similar to that. Like, finding out which of two would come out on top, based on their statistics, what you've researched, their records... All that stuff, it's just fun. And I think with Versus Debate, what makes it more fun is that you're bringing two universes together to have them clash in a fight, you know? Two characters you're very attached to, so like, there's the nostalgia factor as well, just clashing each other. I mean, if you go into a fight cheering for someone and they lose, like, really cheering for someone and they lose, you're obviously going to be upset, disappointed, or angry. And maybe you're going to be, like, less disappointed or upset or angry because it's a versus debate and these are, like, fictional characters. But think of it this way. Your football team that lost last Saturday is their fictional character that lost last Saturday. That's basically how it is. So that's why I think versus debates are taken so seriously. They're characters that people love to death. They're going in a fight. You have to watch them die if your character loses. It's kind of upsetting. You're kind of sad. And especially if the research is done poorly and wrong, and then your character loses for the wrong reason when otherwise they should have won by all accounts. Then that can really stir up the anger. It's kind of like another sport that people like to watch. And think about if you actually do the versus debate. It's like you're on the team that lost. So imagine how the football players of a team that loses feel when they lose. Probably not happy. Man, we did all that practice, all that training, we've been working really hard on this, whatever it's called, strategy, maneuver, whatever, this play, this play I think is what it's called. We've been spinning so hard on this one, we should have won. Well, but then, they deflated all the balls, they cheated, gasp. And that's what it's like when your character loses for the wrong reason, it's, it's just your viewpoint on it. Like, if you see it as a sport, you're going to take it seriously. Especially if there's a character that's very near and dear to your heart. And it's going to be even more frustrating because there are some people who believe everything they hear. So now because your character lost for the wrong reason, people are also going to think that your character would lose for that reason. Even though they haven't researched your character or know anything about them because some big name said so, they'll believe it. And it is frustrating. But it's also fun to like take these two characters, compare them, contrast them, find out all about them, find out new things, discover new characters, discover new worlds. It's just fun as well. And when something kind of kills your fun, it's not exactly the happiest thing. So I guess that's why people take versus debating so seriously. It's fun, but frustrating when you lose. Kind of like any board game, video game, or 
sports game, watching, watching, watching wrestling on TV. It's just fun, but frustrating. That's it. That's all there is to it. That's versus debating. That's why people take it so seriously.